Salon Rio and Chevy. Hey everyone, welcome to I Just Watched. Welcome back. I'm Joseph, and today we're discussing House of Dragons, episode four. Before we get into it, I gotta hit you with the usual, which is hopefully you liked this enough to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified. Official spoiler warning. Let's discuss. This episode is quite crazy. I think this show is, you know, before I get into my little points, I feel like the show is starting to either get build or, no, it's starting to gain its momentum. And it's starting to almost feel like we're back, which is probably not the best way to describe it, but it's starting to feel like we're back. We're, you know, we're back in the, we're back in Westeros. The same kind of love I had for Game of Thrones and those characters. I really love, uh, you know, I like Damon because he's an, he's an asshole. He shouldn't be. He's fucking great. Rhaenyra's bad as fuck. I love Rhaenyra. Allison was starting to win me back over because I really liked her, but then she, like, you know, fell in love with the king, I think, and then, but she's still trying to be a good friend, so I'm just like, okay, okay, you know, he's still trying to be a good friend. Okay, okay. The way he reacted to, like, Otto, you know, just, there's things I'm starting to, like, like, and I'm, like, intriguing. You know what I mean? Plus, I love the dragons, but, you know, yeah, we'll get into that. Let me focus. I was about to go on a whole different rant. Homeboy, when they were doing the whole parade, I want my money. Because I put money on the little Blackwood homie. I was like, you talking shit over there, bruh? And you off and off at the mouth? That's cool. Little dude was like, nah, bruh. Enough disrespect. And when he won, I was like, I put 20 on that dude. What, what were the odds? Like, I want my monies. Jumping to Damon. Show him back up. Why'd he cut his hair? What did I miss? Why did he cut his hair? It looks good, but that's not the problem. The problem is like, I love the long white hair. It's gangster. It was weird because like watching that part, I was like, okay, how long has it been since episode three? Because we've been jumping, you know, six months, two years, three years. From what I pieced together, it's been a year since episode three. Let me know if that's correct. From what I was listening to, they said it was like a year since this. So I'm assuming as of right now, we're what? Three, four, five. We're like six years and six seven months in already by episode four it's crazy it's like they're it's not a bad thing but they're like all right we need to get to a certain point so we can just go <laughs> you know versus game of thrones was like longevity months pass maybe a couple years boom no here we're like four episodes in six and a half years deep oh no now it's a thing where i'm like negative 17 times square root of seven three years got it the relationship that damon and renee were shared like they hate each other but they love each other and they respect each other. So I think it's funny because he wants the throne but, and she's she's the heir. She's the queen to be. And she wants the throne and she knows he wants it. So it's like this. If you want to kill me, bro, I love that. And he's like, no, like you're my my niece. I'm stupid. I, I hate you, but I still love you because Damon, oddly enough, is loyal to his family even though he comes off like a piece of shit. And he is a piece of shit. Don't get me wrong. Especially the way he plays the fuck out of her. In this episode. Also brought that up because I like that they're always speaking High Valyrian to each other. It's like this, it's a code, you know. I mean, if you speak High Valyrian, it's not a code. It's nothing super crazy. But at the same time, it's always the same. Like, boom, we're going to have a private conversation in High Valyrian. I always like that. Especially because they're just, you know, it's just, it's like their thing. Also, this is not super important. But when they're out and about at night, uh, yo, King's Land is popping off, bro. Like, that was, it was, I was like, damn. Like the middle of the night. I was like, King's Landing is where it's at. I don't know. We never got to see King's Landing be fun like this. Also, I have a weird love-hate relationship with all the dragon torches. Because like, they come out and they go up. And the fire comes out of the mouth. Which makes sense. But like you see it. The idea sounds cool. But then it's just like this the whole time. And I was like, hmm. During the day when they're not lit. Talking about the king. Bruh. Again, I'm kind of all over the place. But this is just the things that immediately kind of stuck out, stood out to me. Tell me why the Iron Throne is, like, out to kill King Viserion. Like, it is literally taking him out by, you know, death by a thousand cuts and infection. His back is gross as fuck. Also, I had never seen a booty call done in this fashion where you set a maiden or a nurse or whatever the hell her position is to go get you some, the booty. He, he, he's like, you know, she's like, Allison was like, it's late. And she was like, yeah, I know it's late. But uh, we both know what the king is calling for. All right, so I need you to... Bruh, the king, again, his bag is gross as fuck. I also think it's funny that while he's like 
literally rotting. My boy got some pumps in, bro. It was a good, like, fucking, this episode's like, what, like, 45 minutes an hour? We spent a good fucking, it felt like 15 minutes cutting back to this boy just pumping, pumping. I'm like, bro, can we switch up the angle? His back is gross. Can we just do something? And then you see her face. And she, this is her the whole time. She just, he's gross. I feel bad for her. And then we have the whole Damon being a savage and getting into that good old fashioned Targaryen incest. I mean, clearly in the world that exists, there are a bunch of, what is it, Donnie from Wolf of Wall Street? Like, look, if my cousin's gonna grow up hot, I'm gonna let some random dude smash? I'm gonna smash. Mm -mm. Pause, flag on the field, disgusting. All right, you know, it shouldn't be called West Coast, it should be called Alabama. If you're from Alabama, it's not on me, you, you know the jokes. But, and then he walked out on her, I was like, damn, son, you really have to basically buck ass nude and who knows where? It's a brothel. But like, in the middle of the city, kudos to Sir Kristen. Two things, one, I thought his reaction when she walked in, he was like, princess, what the fuck? His reaction to me was funny. Secondly, he went from like, nah, we can't do this, to like, And then another 20 minutes of him disrobing, bruh, the amount of clothes, armor, and items they had to remove. He can't do no walk of shame. You know, this is gonna take this dude an hour to get dressed again. This shit was ridiculous. I'm interested to see where that relationship goes. Cause I feel like he, he regrets breaking the oath, but he, you know he don't regret smashing cause my boy did not resist almost at all. All right, she was like, yo, we smashed. And he was like, okay. The the prince that was promised with the the the, the dagger it makes me sad, cause they promised bullshit. All right, but I'm not gonna discuss that. Secondly, it's not Plan B in this world. It's Plan T, and is she gonna drink it? I think she probably is, but it's not gonna be out of like obeying her father. I think she's also come to a realization that she has to make decisions she's not gonna be a fan of. She doesn't like, you know, like marrying, what's his face, I apologize, I don't remember his name, to increase her, her strength and power and position. But she's also realizing like, I'm queen. So yeah, I can do this and have to do this. But really, like Robert Baratheon said, King Robert Baratheon said, I need you to run my kingdom while I shit, uh, shit fucking drink my way to early grave. So she's kind of like, mm, I can run shit. I can get some power, and then I can be like, you, come clap these cheeks, these royal cheeks. I think it's starting to get there. I think she's starting to have that realization. So I think she is gonna take this tea. Interested to see where this goes. I'm starting to, it's hard not to like fall back into it, you know? I love the characters, I love the, the world. I wanna hear thoughts, comments, questions, concerns. Do you agree, do you disagree? Is there something in the episode that I missed that you thought was vital or hella important? Let me know down below. Oh, before, um, P.S., random P.S., sorry. I love the fact that the king has all of King's Landing in, like, a miniature. I know it's been there from the jump, but I finally remember to say it. Down below, want to hear from you. Comments, questions, concerns, requests. Do you agree? Do you disagree? How do you feel the show is going so far? Are you excited to see where it goes? Do you not give a damn? Apparently, season two of this is going to have some kind of crazy... Trident flashback. I don't really know just what I heard down below. Love hearing from y'all, but until next time, stay safe, be well. Adios.